Hey all, welcome to Stock Talk Pro. In last few years, we have keep on hearing about few terms like cryptocurrencies, blockchain, bitcoin, mining and so on. These are some fascinating words which we keep on hearing from our friends from news and so on. The young generation who is mad about investing in this market with their small pockets and people like you and me who has some amount in their hand but do not know where to invest how to invest and the main important question is why to invest because if we hear about maruti we know that this company makes cars and if the car sales grows they get profit their share price is going to increase but in the case of cryptocurrencies we do not know why the price is growing at all and if it is growing what are the the thing is happening behind this cryptocurrencies right and on top of that this is currencies not even the stock so why it is even uh, growing when nobody is using this cryptocurrencies anywhere right there lies a lot of questions that is this cryptocurrency world is a new ponzi scheme a gamble or a scam where people just wanted to invest to be a quick reach in the game world is on the verge of new form of finance that will use technologies to change the way we use and manage our one of the most important and fundamental tools that is money but the question is is this change in this finance world is happening for the first time and the answer is no if you remember we have started long back with barter system where we need to give something in order to buy something then we came to gold and then coins and currencies right now we are in the world of technologies in the world of internet where we have internet banking we have cards thanks to covid and demonetization which we have digital wallets installed in our phone through which we can just scan something and we can buy or even if you wanted to transfer money to your friends and family it is just a matter of phone number so have we ever thought about these changes when we were kids so now the question is why this development has happened from last so many years and does this development has solved something if yes then what is still yet to be solved if we go by the basic definition of money which you can see on my screen these parameters are important to define the definition and meaning of being a money so a currency or a money should possess all these parameters to be justified as a real money if we just talk about one of the important parameter which is limited in supply this is one of the biggest problem due to which the whole world is facing a lot of challenges and that is increasing inflation now due to covid where all businesses and economy is getting hampered and there is a scarcity of money in the system so now all government in the world started printing money by many fold and this decreases the value of money inflation in india is around 5.5% and the same in us it is around 7% so you can understand that if you are investing in any of the tools like fd rd and so on which gives return of 5% or 5.5% is actually decreasing and at some point of time it is just keeping the value as it is not growing as well at all if we talk about fungibility which is actually exchanging with other currencies for conversion there is a commission of almost 2 to 3% and on top of that the value changes every time which again changes the value of your own money there is no single currency across the world and these currencies are managed and controlled by few governments in the world so in nutshell we had a lot of problems which started from barter gold and currencies which got solved in this previous developments now we still have problems and has to be solved here we are now with a brighter and bigger picture of money and the baby step of which is now taking place cryptocurrencies and blockchain one of the more powerful financial technologies are 
transforming or changing the concept of money and now challenging the financial institutions that currently manage and control it. So first, let's understand whether this cryptocurrency is following the definition of being a money and then we will see what are their problems, what they are going to solve it and what is their advantage and disadvantages. So start with divisibility. Crypto coins are divisible. In fact, Bitcoin is divisible up to 8 decimal points. If you talk about fungibility, yes, you can exchange with any other currencies in the world and value remains the same. Transferring it from one person to other person is very easy and it's just matter of scan or transferring it from your account. So in nutshell, cryptocurrency is following all the sign of being a real money and the best important part is the supply these currencies cannot be printed like our current existing currencies and this limit to inflation which is a very important thing for financial world so let's see how this currency evolved and what's in the future cryptocurrency is is an internet based medium of exchanges which uses cryptographic functions to conduct financial transactions. It leverages blockchain to gain this immutability. The most important feature is that it is not controlled by any central authority. The decentralized nature of blockchain makes cryptocurrencies theoretically immune to the old ways of government controlled and interference. It can be sent from one person to other person with just an exchange of private and public keys and these transfers can be done with just a minimal or no charges in between which makes the value of currencies almost same so if you see there are a lot of technicalities and the new words are coming up in this uh, market where we see the use of blockchain mining private and public keys and so on right which makes little technical and do not let people with less technical understanding to invest in these markets. So more you know about the underlying reasoning and knowledge about cryptocurrencies, more we get interest to invest in this new financial world. If you know still many people in the world and especially in India, they do not invest in the stock market because they do not understand what they are doing and there are a lot of risk they see always before investing in the stock market. But as soon as people started in understanding that investing in the stock market is not that tough and earning from market is possible just with a matter of little understanding and managing your money and with a management of risk as well. The main point of cryptocurrency is to fix the problem of traditional currencies by putting the power and responsibility in the currency's holder's hand but not in government or banks. So let's see some advantages and disadvantages too and then we can take our uh, decision based on that. And one of the most important advantage is the protection from inflation. It can be limited in supply and it is more in demand so value of your money is going to get increased rather than now which is decreasing year on year because of the inflation and one of the most talked disadvantages is its regulations being a decentralized system no government or central authority can control or regulate it but the provision of regulations Every country is coming with their own ways how to regulate it. And main part you see, the countries are trying to regulate it rather than banning it. Because they do understand that this is the future and we need to understand it and implement it. The second disadvantage is strong volatility. Since it is not in a stable state like our stocks, the price movement is very abrupt it keep on going high and low by 10 20 percent or maybe sometimes 30 to 40 percent in a just matter of day or sometime in a matter of hours so as soon as it 
get uh, saturated volatility will slowly decrease important disadvantage is refund of money because here now if we are transferring money from one account to other account and if there is any discrepancies bank can interfere and try to revert that transactions i mean if you transfer it by mistake in this case if you transfer the money by mistake there is no mean where you can get your money reverted back and this is which i see is a big disadvantage because mistakes do happen very regularly in this world but there are ways coming up to minimize that as well now the the very much asked question is this illegal and the answer is yes it is i have given the link in, in the description you can go and check what our supreme court has told about the trading in uh, cryptocurrencies and that is why we do not see upi one of our favorite way of transferring money but now the lots of private banks like hdfc axis bank icic and so on coming up and supporting the exchange of money from banks to these exchanges what are these exchanges we will talk about in the upcoming videos so everything looks good we have advantages we have disadvantages we understand that it is not illegal as well so what is the problem when we hear currencies we always think that we buy something from this people get confused with cryptocurrency as a legal tender of money and what that means what is meaning by legal tender right means you cannot buy anything online or offline with the help of these coins these are not a legal tender defined unlike our currency notes so if you have seen on your currency notes there it is written that this currency is a legal tender of rbi but same is the case with stocks right stocks is not a legal tender but we can trade we can buy and invest in those uh, stocks can we buy a maruti car with a hundred of 500 stocks of maruti no right but we can trade these stocks and same thing is with cryptocurrencies we cannot buy anything from cryptocurrencies but we can trade and it is completely legal so as a verdict cryptocurrency is completely legal and can be traded in any of these exchanges what are the problems it is going to get solved in future apart from buying and selling the stuff and trading one of the important thing in financial world is inflation which is going to be solved by these currencies and which is a huge change if this currency come into picture taking loans or giving back the loan money and go away from the hold of the bank so the money do not go back to the bank but this is what going to be solved with the help of cryptocurrencies because whenever you buy and sell something there is contract getting written and these are digital contracts or we call it as an smart contracts where if you have taken loan from me for a specified period other person do not have to come back to you to take back the loan this this is smart notes will automatically return the loan from your account to the lender's account because a contract has been written and all this will happen automatically no interference of any people is required so this is this is very important because financial world is struggling with these kind of bad loans which is one of the reason why government has to print money to bring notes in the market because these loans has become bad loans and there is no money at the bank so as a conclusion cryptocurrency is not going to solve all these problems overnight however the examples we have seen so far helps us to understand that why cryptocurrency is worth looking as a potential way to make some financial problems less severe cryptocurrency is not about reinventing money but reinventing its real value blockchains data transactions mining smart contracts and so on these are the keywords which are very important to understand and once you start understanding these key parameters in cryptocurrency world 
you will realize why the cryptocurrency is the new vision of financial world and why it is important to have in this uh, financial world for a better and bright future of money so hope you like the video if yes please do subscribe like and share with your friends and family and do let me know if you wanted to know more about cryptocurrencies or anything else of your interest till then bye bye take care and thank you so much for watching it